a huge, huge shout out to the overthinkers. An overthinker. He watches the show. Uh, to the overthinkers. Shout out Buffet too. Hola Buffet too. This is Parker, yeah. Thank you, overthinkers. Keep inspiring the next generation. Shout out to the overthinkers. Tando Pela. Much love. Ah, to my overthinkers, I'm a man. Look, top on a puma be a cooler, knees in Jani Coco. As in, as overthink is overachieve. I'm, I'm stealing that. I've stolen that one. I've stolen it. And here we go. Welcome, 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 everybody, to the Overthinking Football Show. Uh, my name is George Mukwena. I am your host. The show is on every Monday to Thursday at 7 p.m. And then Fridays, we have a member show at half past 12, guys. We had a watch along last night. Uh, where we got to watch Iba Farabafana versus Algeria at the Stade Nelson Mandela. That is going to be the topic for today that we're going to be speaking about, our review of the game, how we feel about them, and more importantly, how we feel about Hugo Prus, a man who said that he's, no, he's not leaving. Like, ah, I'm Hugo Prus. He said that, hey, uh, why would he leave such amazing players? That's what he told the players, guys. Um, the show is on, like I said, Monday to Thursday at 7 p.m. If you want to watch any of the previous shows back, they are available in full on YouTube uh, where we've had some incredible discussions. This week alone, we've spoken about uh, Dr. Ivan Kors, uh, the succession planning, should he retire? What happens there? We've spoken about um, a bunch of things uh, over the past months and the year. Uh, the years that we have been here that I think you would really enjoy watching. And they're available on YouTube in full, um, where people, you can hear the people. And if you want to be part of the people that can speak on the show, that add their voices to the show, you have to be following me on TikTok and join me while I'm live on TikTok for those watching on YouTube. Then uh, there'll come a time where I'll say I'm opening up. Bottom of your screen, there'll be a button that says multi-guest. It's got a blue figure hugging a pink figure. Click on that request. I let you in and you can have your say on the show. And if you do want to have your say a lot more so I can learn from more of you because we don't have that much time when we do the show. Uh, we do have an official WhatsApp group uh, that is available where we banter. Where it's open 24-7. Kona my video, kona my picture, kona my nickname, kona zonke lezinto. If you want to be part of that WhatsApp group, head on over to YouTube. Click on subscribe and then click on join and you'll get access to the WhatsApp group where you'll have 24-7 access to not just me, but some of the other smartest people that I've been able to meet on this journey of the overthinking football. Now, on to the actual uh, uh, game. I think last night's game was one of the most entertaining games we have seen in a very long time. I think Algeria and Bafana Bafana came to this game um, and they showed that even friendlies, uh, weird friendlies in the middle of the of, of uh, international breaks can be very interesting and exciting. Remember, Algeria is, uh, I believe it's seventh in the, in seventh in, in Africa. And then also um, South Africa, here we go. Algeria is seventh in Africa, we are 10th. They are 43rd in the world while we are 58th. They, of course, two years ago, or uh, 2019, sorry, uh, five years ago, were the winners of the AFCON. Uh, so this is a very serious team. They were playing at home due to this FIFA series. And the game ended 3-3, where we saw that man, Utemba Zwane, come to the party as only Temba Zwane can do when he is fresh, when he's up for it. He was really up for it, scoring two goals, one of which was one of the most incredible goals uh, that has been scored by a Bafana player. But then, but then, uh, uh, what's his name? Penrama came off of the bench and gave us a, a, a tap-up overhead kick, which was also very incredible. So at end of 3-3, we had 12 shots versus Algeria's 13. Five of our shots were on target versus Algeria. Seven. We had 54% of the possession. More passes. Uh, pass accuracy was all the same. And uh, overall, it was a very good game. We did see some new faces coming into the team and getting some game time. Uh, Apolis is one of the names that were mentioned. But also, uh, Ooh, Reynas actually getting some game time. Uh, Long-time squad members actually getting some game time. But man of the moment, Umokwana has shown us what it means to take to take the game, to take your chance, to take an opportunity as soon as you get it. With him getting, with uh, uh, Mukwana being able to get that third goal, uh, which was very incredible to watch. Uh, I want to hear more from you guys, guys. I'm going to open it up. Um, please remember that you have to be following me 
on TikTok in order to join me live and add your voice to the show. So let me open it up uh, and then I will see who's here and um, I can hear from you guys what you guys thought about uh, this game that we played. Guys, remember, just jump in. Uh, you don't need to be special. You don't need to be. Uh, it's not meant for certain people. It's open for everybody. Feel free to jump in. Um, look. Where do we start? Uh, let's start with the newcomers. I think it was good for Hugo Bruce to bring in Abo Apolis, to bring in uh, Abo Reina, to actually give them a run. I think they gave us a different dimension in the game. Uh, we had a very, very, very interesting high press. That high press uh, from South Africa won us a lot of balls up front and actually caused both goals, if I'm not mistaken. And it's something that we couldn't necessarily do with Percy on the pitch, with Mahupa on the pitch. So it's very good to see that Bafana Bafana is kind of building that plan B, you know, where we have different players that can do different things on the pitch and we don't necessarily have to always ask players who don't fit uh, the mold of how we were playing to be part of it. I think the spaces that were opened up by the movement of Reynas, the movement of Apolis, the movement of those players actually created more space for Utemba Zwane uh, to take advantage of it. And uh, the only complaint I would have is that they, they were too far away from each other. Sometimes you need them to be a little bit close uh, to get to, to, to really use that, uh, that pace, that skill. Sometimes you need to play on transition a little bit quicker uh, in order to catch the, the opposition sleeping. But what I will say, they look great. The only downfall of the new people was Umayo got a second bite of the apple. And Umayo was somebody who we had all been uh, crying for and asking for him to be in the team by virtue of him being one of the high scorers. But it doesn't seem like by um, him being he's one of the high to scratch with uh, Isis Magapurus. So I'm going to open up, guys. Like I said, Malume Kuto, welcome to the show. How are you, my brother? Uh, Mr. Witsing, I'm the winner. Hi, man. Nakim Nati man kishabile tri tri engwe enailing exciting that had everything. What did you think of the game that Algeria played versus South Africa? Uh, before I go into it, even yesterday I thought to myself, hey, yeah, no, I don't know this guy. It's not Ben Rama who scored. Uh, so... It's Kimang, Kimang Penzia. No, if, everyone said Ben Rama. It's not only you. I remember someone said, no, uh, Ben Rama. I told you about Ben Rama. Doesn't even been I hope not my star player. People just credit you for things you yeah, didn't do. Yeah, man, everything, man. Yeah, no, a uh, great game from Atseke Bafana. No, Brahim has got the second one. That guy has got two goals. Oh, Penzia, 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 so... Penzia, yes, it's Penzia, Mr. Witty. Great game from the two teams, uh, but we have to be honest, poor defense, mm. Uh, mm. as well as the Kana King. To concede two identical goals, man, uh, mm. it's a problem. So for mm. Ialgera to concede those two identical goals, and I say identical because it's from high press, Bafana, Bafana, and also yesterday we, we we saw some things, man. For example, for for me now, what I noticed is, uh, Tabang Munare was seemingly not giving us anything, but mm. as soon as he, he he got off the pitch, yar, guavulega, Mr. Oti, it was, I understand. And then, um, on further reflection, I noticed that he actually won the ball, uh, Tabang Munare, and played that pass for his second goal, the Timbers one. Mm. So some some things are really boring. We overlook them. And truth be told, man, I think maybe, and I, I'm sure everyone is starting to notice that maybe, just maybe, we don't understand international football mm. and what it requires at the present moment. I understand. Mm. Mm. Maybe there was a time when our players could adapt to international football, but now I think it takes something special to play. Mm. And for a South African, mm. it takes a big heart. Um, mm. I'm happy that Mukwana. That's what you do when you're given a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm happy, Karinas. That's what you do when you're given a chance. Mm -hmm. You take it with both hands and you run with it. Uh, mm -hmm. Moving to the next year game, uh, Reynas has put his hand up to say, Coach, I can do the hold up play, even though I don't look like I can uh, mm -hmm. physically. But once we are put into a, a field, 
I can do it and I can press, I can run the way you, you require strikers. I'm actually watching him right now. He's forcing these defenders to play long balls. He's mm -hmm. forcing them to make passes. I understand that, Mr. Wissi. So mm -hmm. uh, I think he's also some form of an unsung hero from yesterday. Um, he made those defenders panic. He made them think. He never gave them a chance. And mm -hmm. I'll give it to Tabang Munare as well. He, mm -hmm. On further like reflection, I'm seeing Wissi. He actually did well, Mr. Wissi. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, okay. I'm gonna come back. Let me bring you Prastomi. Prastomi, welcome to the show. How are you? Hola, hola, hola. Uh, I'm Nandi Prastomi. Prastomi, tell me, what are your thoughts about this game we played? <laughs> oh, I have to This is all. Uh, we're complimenting you boys in that game. I see for my name. Uh, I think it was one of the best games again as Bogela Ngoku. Apple in South Africa, if a man a game time, he can compete in a band. Mm. Uh, he make game of goals. Yeah, but again, we, we came here, you, you notice that we had a problem here defending. Yeah. Even though none of these things, I can highlight that are positive in the team. Uh, I'm glad that he, he players, some few players, as for many game time, they raise their hands. Zabonisa, he could have that ready to be in the team. Mm -hmm. And again, well, it's a good positive sign. You know, the band who are raising hands, a band who are willing to play for this for this team. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, well, yeah, Ben, it's possible, 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 to play with a, a proper bafana bafana because if you notice we 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 can basically know andora as a player zong they were not familiar to play with each other and yeah. that is why they were struggling to a team is an in the competitive so mm. we needed some in because in the you know just like after our timbers one went out yeah he came it, it was not normal and mm. Gulapo Gengo, I experienced so much problems. Mm. And Gengo, the vendor, we say, look, if we want to be Pumil, we should uh, Safaga or Masangai. Uh, in the Simfaga Simboni, in this game, because of one again in the outer was an anti Pumil. Now, mm. in the Sifunayo, Tina Sifunayo, for lesser space, who mm. created and the better Langa, I was one and free and play your game so that the team is of Wazuchella now. Because yeah. at some point we have one of Hugo introduced about Mayo and Lando of Mayo, it wasn't working. Because mm -hmm. in the runs, we have a sense of the same thing. We have a lot of So mm -hmm. there is a problem that I had. Otherwise, creativity side, nah, I'm okay. And again, we have a quick backline. That backline without Umval, we're still going to have problems. Mm, and mm, Hugo mm. has to I look is a one go. Mm. And come back to Gang Oku side like Algeria. Uh, Algeria uh the Indian coach I won't change. the coach is very new to the team. Mm. So coach in the is lay uh busy players, what is a nigga chance long and as I'll start as if the team I'm Jaban didn't know the team is new now. So the nigga chance won't go to to assure I for many chance or go. And we, it was that game, even though it was a competitive game, because uh every in the game it was easy because say as Algeria is rating number seven. Yeah. Then game go go. Oh, you are rating number seven, but we are playing uh, the current uh Ipros medal. Yeah, yeah, of course. So mm -hmm. it was a competitive game, a, a interesting. And uh, I want to add on something a bit at our cool sopa. Namdi notice the Nagamunar. Because mm. I thought uh, 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 Magaman, uh, uh, I stabilized the line like Bessin I, but defender born a lot of problems. And mm. game, with those problems, Bessin Azo, Uzukumbu, Lego impacts that Bessin problem. Then, then, go uh, figure out Magaman, go sit to the stabilizer, land, I build like Monar, he became mm. worse, glo, glo, no more, and I So mm -hmm. that is my take on this game, EBA is all. Um, I'm gonna come back because there's some some points you've mentioned there that I think are, are, are key. Hey, hey, uh, and OT, yes, 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 
No ball. Nalo ba ngu ball ka yema ngu si ball. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All, right. All protocol must be observed, Bruce told me. Uh, let me go to Agent. Agent, welcome to the show, my brother. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm a Naki Sharp. Naki Sharp, tell me, what are your thoughts about this 3 3 draw, Keria and Bafana Bafan? Um, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know if we sit back and reflect that player for player, our players are playing in PSL. Mm. I think except Metali there, I think, in the same lineup, all of them play in the PSL, you know? Mm. And we are sometimes hyper-critical, I think you know, of um, the PSL standard, and rightly so, you know. But sometimes I look at it and I'm like, this Algerian team, none of them who started in the starting eleven play in Africa, you know. Mm. Mm. So I, I think sometimes you have to upload our own product and say PSL is actually good, you know. It's not perfect, but it is relatively good, you know. Mm. And... To the man of the moment, he's aging in reverse, you know. Um, I don't know if he's aging in reverse. Um, it's very difficult that Sundowns, for two or three years, they've been trying to replace him, you know. Mm. I think we see why they're still struggling to replace him, you know, because mm. players like this come once in a while, you know. Um, they don't just come, you know. So I think we have to give him all the products, you know. And one of the things that I admire about him is he's in the squad, arguably the oldest, arguably the most decorated, arguably the most everything, you know. And yet Williams is somehow his captain, you know, and still he respects that leadership, you know. Mm. And he is... Um, he reminds me of um, Ines and Xavi, you know? The other one is a captain on the other side, the other one is a captain on the other side, you know? Um, so <laughs> I think we have sometimes have to also applaud his uh, humility, you know? Mm. Because not every football player has that kind of humility. Mm. And then to the game, <sighs> I was watching it Reynas, I think he didn't disappoint me. Uh, I said before the game that I'll be watching if we'll be playing person football. I think we played relatively well. I think, like I said, o Bruce maybe wants us to play person football, you know, but mm. I think he doesn't have this kind of opportunity to try things out, you know, and he tried it enough corn and didn't work. It's like, hey, guys, let me try to something which um, I know works, you know, mm. and it mm. also mentions a good point that maybe we don't appreciate or know continental football, you know. Mm. Sundowns for the past four or five years have been the best ball playing team in the continent. But what do they have to show for it? You know, mm. nothing. Mm. Mm. So then it brings in the question, what are you doing wrong? And I think Urulani has found that that continental football is not always about how it looks on, on the field of play. Mm. It's about getting results, you know, mm. and I think who Hugo Bruce has gotten the results, you know, and I think you said uh, before the AFCON, if I recall well, you said the best way sometimes to build is win something, get kicked in the bank, and then you can start mm. trying new stuff, you know. Mm, so mm. I think that's what Hugo Bruce has done. Mm. He has gotten some kicked in the bank, and now he's free to try all those kind of things. Hence, mm. he could afford to experiment with a whole new lineup against an Andorra, you know and still knows that even if I lose or draw, the backlash that I'm going to face yeah, in his fans, <laughs> he still has that kind of, you know, carriage in the bank, you know, so mm. I'm happy, I'm happy, like, you know, the squad, I'm happy with the police, I'm happy with, um, you know, these, that's my last point, I know you're not going to like it, but I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Sometimes, you look at Chiefs and you're like, hi, hey, my market is always playing, but he's costing us. 
that, and you take him out there like, hey, she looks wise. We actually miss Mark, you know. So I think it was the case of Omonare. During the game, we were like, I man, this one is not make sure. The moment mm-hmm. you took him out, it 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 fell apart, you know. But I think the most important thing is for the coach to maybe coach him into that yeah yeah uh, 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 role that when we have fullbacks who are overlapping, aka Mudiba, you cover for him, you know. Mm-hmm. You just stay mm-hmm. central. You know, you don't mm. say maybe okay, can I go there or a police will come back. No, a police stays high, Mudiba stays high. You are the one who is supposed to come then and take him there, you know? Mm. So I think maybe something that can be coached, I don't think it's something that is difficult, something that can be coached into a, into a player. So yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, Uvuyo's gone. Um, I wanna, I wanna, let's, okay, let's stick to the game. I, I wanna speak about the debutants. Um, how did you feel about the debutants or, or suppose the debutants, some of them have been in the league, in the team. How did you feel about their performances? And are you confident that at least now going forward, we know that uh, we have guys that have played some games, we've seen them, they seem to be hungry, they seem to be up to it. How did you feel about the debutants uh, uh, in this game? Or maybe not uh, just the debutants, the people who are on the outside, on the fringes. Yeah, exactly. Our French players. Mm. No, some of them made a good contribution, you know, Mr. Woods. Actually, the, the actual French players, um, according to a coach, um, mm. I think they all did well. I understand. And what we don't realize is how much of the actual team was absent yesterday. Um, the entire front three, being Mahopa, Pesi, and Umurun, did not start. I understand that that's the go-to front three in big games. Oh well, that has been the go-to front three. Uh, so everyone up front was relatively new. Mm. I understand. Then mm. oh, uh, fringe player. If we're talking oh, oh, Michal. and then in midfield trio it would be Tembazwane, Mukwena. They were there, and Uyaya. Mm. Yaya wasn't there. So already there's four players, uh, four player change. Mm. And when we come to a right back. Um, the, the first choice right back has been Umutao. He mm. also wasn't there. That, that's five. Mm. And then when it comes to his center back, um, Umvala wasn't there. That's a sixth absentee. But mm. I think Kulu, we, we can't really call him a French player. He's been in there. However, we can say six players short and we, we, we managed to, to, to hold our own. Mm. So it does say that the French players were well identified. Um, with the there will come a time where they need to step up and i think they did step up we, we mm, could have done mm, better mm. defensively let's be honest mm. even in attack we could have done better but uh, it's worth mentioning that we were away mr uti mm. we are mm. away at, uh, in a fully packed stadium but a the team same that time, has not lost 11 friendlies, in yeah, 11 friendlies. Mm. but at the same time it does help uti uh, the core I think it might have only been four players of Sundowns, but they are still they still form the core. Mm. The core of the team Vele is not used to dominating people in the stands. Mm. They understand. So it's nothing foreign to them, Wuti. The the entire stadium is packed with um opponents and supporters of such as South Africa D fifty seven. It's mm. what they go through day in, day out, young understand. So mm. but we have to commend Mr. Utiabomukwana, I still say uh, the fact that <laughs> he came in and did what he does. I'm actually still watching him again. He mm. did what he does. Mm. You know, uh, when we talk about Utito, <laughs> Maswangai, uh, how he plays the derby, the Soweto derby, he plays it the way he plays football. He doesn't mm. change. You don't see see him uh, out of the blue. He does mm. what he does. And mm. that's why people are starting to, to warm up to him to a point where they like, um, he's a possible next number 10 for Ibafana Bafan. Mm. What I saw on Mukwana is exactly that, doing what you do in a different stage. Mm. Even against Andorra, he says, I'm a player who takes on defenders and I'm going to take on defenders and take shots. Mm, mm, I understand. And there's a mm. coach, a uh, development coach, who <laughs> was lashing out at the players. Um, Robert Shane Kelly, he says, you miss 100% of the chances that you don't take mm. or 100% of the shots that you don't make. And Umukwana knows this very well, which is why he gets in and he takes shots. Mm. There's only one way to win the lottery. It's mm. to play. 
if you don't play the lotto you won't win so we need that type of mentality and mm. and again i will say with the right people around mr uti mm. uh, i remember when uchali was also uh, knocking on that door and the coach said okay i'm gonna compromise on timbers one but on this guy i'm not gonna compromise and it's it's the very same reason why Usipombule does not touch the national team chairs anymore. Mm. It's according to the coach. Mm. Is the mm. fact that they drop their heads when they are on the bench. Mm. Mm. They, they 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 sulk when they are on the bench, and and, and we know we know the story. Mm. Uh, for Santos, it, it's actually true. Mm. It, well, it looks like it's true. Let me mm-hmm. not say it's actually, it looks like it's true. So when you call up about the Mafana and about Timbers, one who can sit on that Sundowns bench with a smile, it then feeds Gomanyama playing, feeds onto mm-hmm. other players to say, if this big guy, which we all admire, can sit on the bench, and if this big guy, which we all admire, can miss so many call ups and feel that maybe we could have qualified him, but he still comes and gives one hell of a shoot. Now we move. Now we won't. <laughs> he, he, he still comes and gives one hell of a shift day in day out. Mm. You know, I had said the Masabi man, I stand by that because I saw when that second half started with hey, the cut of the legs were a bit heavy. Mm, and I understand mm, because mm, of the hard work that he puts in. Mm. This is why we'll see our Apollis sprint from an offensive position. Uh, to a defensive position when we lose the ball because they can see that their hero, uh, the biggest player of their generation, does the same. Mm. Abo Reynas, they know it's okay. I'm Reynas, I'm big with Stellenbosch, but a guy who's actually big with PSL yeah. runs his socks off. I might as well join, yeah, I understand. I might as well join okay. the team and do exactly that. No matter, man, like I, I said in the group, which in as much as he didn't perform very well, one thing that impressed me was his willingness to do. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I understand. He, he's not hiding from the ball. He loses the ball. He still requests. Mm. So I, I love the mentality more than anything. Yeah, my mm. French players. Pastor uh, me, uh, let's talk about some of the French players and debutants. How did you feel about uh, uh, their performances? And can you speak to maybe some of the hunger? As Marume Kutsu has been speaking about uh, Apolis was running up and down. Magbelo defending where he was there. Abu Mokwana taking the bull by the horns. Uh, Abu Reina played a little bit better uh, 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 there. K- K- can you speak to that too? So, uh, what did you think of these French players and debutants, and what do you think about their attitudes? We are about the problem is that uh, when you talk about the French players, is we will for myself, but Zbako Nezi Nikwa, your first game, uh, Nazi Tibet came yak, Kasbo Nakali, so what you can do. And we for myself, but as Zinya, they are taking that chance and we, with high confidence and fighting for the place because they want to represent a uh, country. Mm. And in our Babo, they are good players in football. Mm. So, mm-hmm. umna, what I like is that Umukwane. We came here, here and or, uh, he said, Bam, na, I, I want to stay here and continue playing with Bafana Bafana. Mm. Whether no one wins can do, I joined any team. I mean, I'm joining any team. Okay, I'm still with the same team in Garden Ijalela. But in day one, is that uh, I am here and I am willing to, to serve a country and play a role. Same as a police. A police is that is willing to play even yeah. though maybe he can be because we of course i can't have for money game game time yeah. i can't i can't i can't mention again for five minutes it will tell but yeah. in that game maybe see you get a is all police was born is very much interested to be in the team yeah. and who's a continue and working hard now yeah. don't go in the essence of banayo is that uh, how much more do we need and how much more players are we willing to take to be in the team mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. Hugo of Nega, i identify alone that okay zikone this is what i can say that i interested to play yeah then back on but the, the gone by it came time if money fair enough so they still need time to be in the team but again going forward at least a reference point that 
Nazi team, there is a long sa up and a lap. Otherwise, I am happy Kumukwana, no Nazi, no, 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 a police. And lastly, uh, Lenda Bagatito, if you are Kumbula, uh, Hugo, he mentioned in Doba, uh, Ulazukum Tanzane can play that role. Hm, Le Kaka Nazi, Katemazo. Hm, then. Why color was white pants? Um, Tanzania, good team yak. Was there a song? I must song I in the future can play that position. Nam, this amino, those two players are willing to play that position. Uh, those mm. players are willing to play that position because at some time, in the house, neither he, he, um, a song I have money a competition in um, Tanzania so that him push a more no, 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 Tanzania. Otherwise, mm. I still don't see any problems, regardless mm. of the problem with back line. But again, of never in the back of our minds, Kumbul, but no person as the players, but again, they were not in the team because the mm. teams are being injured. So, okay, now as in the as going forward. Otherwise, now I am happy with a few is in this business. No, right now, made nine, been nine, 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 ten, nine, nine. Because mm-hmm. at some point you for myself, but when the games versus Ralph for myself, I was in born, I be corner came in. So who rain as yes, Bonagan is given a chance, put out our Arabonagan, Sifaga and came in. He couldn't does the answer to link up the play with the players. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 guys, please tap the screen, please tap the screen. I still only on 683 likes, guys. Can we get to 15,000? It's free. Just tap the screen. Just tap the screen. Tap the screen. Tap the screen. It helps with the ranking and all of those things. Um, agent, how did you feel about the debutants and the fringe players and how they performed? Uh, for me, it seemed as though they had a lot more. Uh, they, they. Yeah. It's almost like there was a pride in playing. Um, for them, for most of them, I would say. The spirit was willing, but the body was weak, shall we? <laughs> the spirit was willing, shall we? Mm. But I, I come execute in something else, eh? But as long as you are showing that you are willing to do something, I guess we applaud. Mm. You know, a police reminded me of, um, not in terms of play, but in terms of the engine um, of Kante, you know? He played like his three lungs, you know. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if he, if he was able to sleep or he was if he was able to wake up in the morning, um, because I think he ran his, his lungs out, you know. Um, but other players, Reynas, you know, last week the conversation that we we're having um, was. Should we create a system for players or players should adapt to the system, you know? And I've always emphasized that players need to somehow fit into the system. You can't create a system for a specific kind of player, you know? And Reina showed that, you know, that, hey, guys, looks like I'm not going to be getting balls behind uh, the defense and running in it. So let me try and adapt. And he adapted well, you know, and I think it will come good, you know? Mm. Um, So I'm impressed by that because I think he showed um, someone that, hey, my guy, the team is not gonna wait for you, you know, you have to catch up to the team, you know, and going, speaking about the devil, <laughs> sometimes when you have a coach who is as harsh as Bruce is, I don't know if it's harsh or decisive, whatever it takes, you have to be very careful, you know, mm-hmm. with the way you react. Remember mm-hmm. after some, after, what was that game where he, he said certain players won't come back? <laughs> and some, some of those guys have never seen them back, you know? So, when he said something bad about two after the Rwanda game, then gives you a second chance. It, I think he, he's like, I see potential in you, but you know, I can't push you. You know, it's like such a situation. There is potential there, you're a good player, but do you have the heart, do you have the desire to mm-hmm. play at the highest level? You know, and I think mm-hmm. he's lacking that, you know. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's a case of comfortability, you know. I don't know is if if he's comfortable at uh, as, as at Cape Town City, where now uh, he's the star of the show, you know. Mm-hmm. But even I think after this kind of performances, teams like Sundowns or Pirates, when they come in, it's like, hey, man, we saw this guy struggles in Kev, you know. So mm-hmm. the value has to go down from that crazy 30 million. 
you know so i think he's not doing some, himself any favors you know if mm. the signing one fee was going to be two, two million it has to go down to 1.5 now you know mm. so sometimes you have to look at this kind of things as a play and say but i have to give my all you know mm. um i think that was that um i think who else was that team reina sapolis did well mukwana mukwana man mukwana i think if taking an opportunity by both hands was a person that is that guy you know mm. so I'm, I'm happy for him so yeah i think for most of them yeah the spirit was there okay 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 uh stingy with the burner welcome to the show my brother how are you Bro, George, man, I'm alright, man. Yeah, ne. Sip my cocktails. We're gonna get a draw. Hey, life is good. I'm gonna throw you to the deep end. What did you think of the the fringe players and the the, the new players that got chances uh, in this game versus Algeria? How did you think they performed? Listen, man. Um, um. Yet I, I'm, I'm still worried a bit. Uh, I'm worried that. Um, we did not use, um, okay, let me start with, I'm happy that we, we, we played Algeria with, uh, mobile, uh, loose three. Um, I'm happy. It shows that when box to box players, uh, when the game is not fitting them, we do have players that can come in and stretch the spaces and, and stretch the defense. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's nice to have a nine that can fetch the ball outside the box, is able to cross, is able to play, uh, be it a seven that is going to move into a nine or a eleven that is going to move into a nine. I'm happy with that because uh, that's one thing that Le Passa and Evidence are lacking in, and we saw that in 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 Kef when they went to play in Afcon. That when when Evidence Mahopa has got the ball by the corner flag, he does not have the skill and the capacity to find Dao inside the box. Yeah. So when you've got Reynas and Apollos and um, who was the third guy that was playing on the right hand side, when they interchange and uh, Apollos goes wide, mm. then they go in. He's able to find them in the box, and I'm happy with that. But but then uh, uh, as much as I, I I hear what Agent is saying. I'm worried that you are going to have a player and then um, we are not benefiting in terms of the quality that he brings to the team because we are not playing to his strength. I'm worried about that because the reason is the reason why he is Reynas is because he possesses different qualities and now to bend him to fit into a particular uh, style of play is that we get to see that in the game where we've got a striker that hardly has a, a, a save, misses a chance, or is, is in a scoring opportunity or a scoring space because we're not exploiting and, and reaping from what he possesses as a striker. And I'm worried about that. Uh, I really am. Um, I don't want us to go to another tournament and we play uh, we play six games, and in those six games, all our striking uh, force, none of them have more than four goals in that particular tournament. I'm, I'm, I'm worried that you are going to go to a tournament with strikers, and then you come back. All of your strikers, none of them has got more than five goals, more than six goals. Mm -hmm. And and then and then we, we qualify by four points to the next round, and then we clap hands. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want that. I want, I want a Bafana Bafana that is going to be uh dominant uh, i like i'm um, okay last thing that i'm happy with, i'm happy that our midfielding and our attacking midfield are scoring goals timbers are is scoring goals oh, uh, uh, your 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 cousin there is also scoring goals uh, and i'm happy with that and i with i wish we could complement that with our wingers scoring goals our strikers scoring goals and that for me would and our defenders capitalizing on set pieces then that means that we've got a solid team that is moving forward. When last did we see a, a Mvala goal or, or a Kulu goal or a CBC goal? Uh, they need to get also on, on the scoring sheet and do well with our set pieces and our corners because sometimes that's the only chance you are going to get, you are, you are going to have in a, particular, in a particular tournament. We don't want to go to the next 16 with penalties, quarterfinals, penalties, uh, uh, and... Uh, and uh, and 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 semi imagine quarter final semi finals all penalties i man i i 
we are the penalty. I think we are the only team in the history of, of, of FIFA to ever do that. I mean, like, we are, we are Caleb. Eh? Aren't we Caleb, uh... penalty specialist? It was coming along so well, and you just had to take the shot. Mara, PJ, it's fine. I'm gonna come back. Let me bring you to Kuma. Welcome to the show, my brother. How are you? Hi, great. Uh, how are you guys doing? Now we're good. Kuma, I'm gonna throw you into the deep end. What did you think about the debutants and the French players' performances versus Algeria? <laughs> No, I just want to say something that Sin just said. Ah, we don't have strikers. We had more than four goals. That's quite ambitious. Two, more than two goals, my bra. Foginji. Um, I thought we could have done without any parents players. Well, Chalohang, Reina is better than Le Baza. We achieved more than Le Baza. At least Reina has got to hit the crossbar. Omongyanagnago Lala Silogaye. Now I want. Yeah, I police with the crossbar. No, we, we don't even know who hit the crossbar. Ah, uh, Joe Ross Cobb, the loot of Behave, guys, behave, man. But honestly, man, we can't really judge these players based on one game. My one. A lot mm. of these guys have been traveling Lebafana, and some of them had little to none game time. Mm. Yes, the game was exciting last night. You saw glimpses of what could be in terms of like future prospects. Nah. Um, obviously, people like Mario Mobi Musele didn't have the greatest of game, but Retlari and my bra. Yeah, Mokwana. Wow, what did Mokwana come from? All of a sudden, he's the talk of the town. He's mm. doing some great stuff, man. He's doing some great stuff. Um, I can't fault. I mean, like, there, there were some times where even the great Tempers only had a game to forget, and sometimes he performs. Maybe if we stick to them and have faith, like um, Hugo Bruce has faith in Moby and Kulu, they may do wonders for us. So I want, yeah, Mara, just feel like I'm on top of the Paris players, then the Clover Shop with them. You guys and the parting shots and the parting shots, guys, please tap the screen. Let's try to get to 15,000. 15,000, guys. Can we guys try to get 15,000 likes? Just tap the screen. Uh, I'm going to ask you two questions, right? Uh, uh, I've heard everybody speaking about how uh, uh, this performance wasn't perfect. We had our defensive lapses up front. We're not necessarily scoring. Temba Zwane had to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Uh, are you confident with this performance moving forward with these players? And uh, does it say anything about us as uh, about us as fans, uh, as South African fans, that we are so excited for a threat threat draw uh, when we win Kabo one nil? People say that we're trash and we do all of these things. What does it say about us as fans? I I, I want to balance the two. Hey, people say a lot of interesting things, eh? <laughs> just uh, blossom all of us hey that that is very <laughs> when he, he has been doing things for the longest time mm. uh, and another interesting thing mm, mm, mm. no how did we qualify that's that's a real question how did you qualify for AFCON? We beat Morocco. We're beating teams. Yeah, we won games. Eh? Beat Morocco. And guess who was on the score sheet? Zakile Lepas. Mm. How did we... Uh, and then who else? Rwanda or Kimang? The, the, Liberia. In Liberia. Who was mm. on the score sheet? Zakile Lepas. But the disrespect for strikers who have never scored for the national team. Hey, it's alarming, man. And we better beat Morocco again at the Afcon. Who was on the street? Zakele Lepas. Not this. Yeah. Mahope. Yeah. And he was running his socks off. And when we beat Namibia, who was playing the one twos as a, as a wall for Timbers one? Mahope. I'm mm. a Ramah South African. I appreciate my Ryan's. Aye, man. Aye, man. That's but why I keep it. I'm going to make it so that. Yes, it was very exciting. 
But there was a lot of things wrong. Bafana Bafana has played some better games and won in better conditions. Let's say Bomo One Nili Bao that we're speaking about. What does it say about South Africans that we are so happy? But then we get so dejected. Ka one nil win under uh, quote unquote Bruce tactics. Yeah, le, Mr. Oti, like no more issues are here, Mr. Oti. You, you'll understand. You'll understand what happens there, uh, and it meshes very well with Bafana Bafana. Uh, the guy watch GTI, he cruise a Mnandi. Uh, Oko Gistaria na eighteen moyeng bekele beke. Gistaria na swella pil we alu hook ya mafitu. That's the guy we, we, we all praise, you know what I mean? Uh, why you hate and try it? Um, but the guy who takes care of his family, sacrifices in front of us, which his family must live a, a, a life of luxury, just comes and drinks his castle. We, we look down on him. We, mm. we, we, the guy who just gets the job done mm. every day, we mm. look down on him. So it's not mm. only a football thing, Mr. Oti. Uh, even when it comes to politics, it's the guy who speaks nice. It's the guy who, who can get the crowd going just from speaking. Mm. Nothing to do with the service deliver. It, it's the mentality, mentality across the board. It's not mm. only limited to football. As, as mm. for into green, you understand. You were personally qualified. Sarah is qualified for the longest time. We still had issues. I mean, someone supports Chiefs and has the, the nerve to criticize a draw. I mean, a progress. I'm a, I'm a draw. The whole team cannot even fix a captain for 10 years. Can he draw? You tell us who's draw yet. You must ask us. Hmm. Rona, we've lost the trophies. Can he draw? We understand Uti, to win a game. Uh, there, there are many ways of winning a game. And by the way, Portugal won the Euros without actually winning mm, mm, mm. in 90 minutes. So, mm. ni, 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 and by me, it's me. I'm going to show you, Mr. Oti. I know you'll say, Hanna. I'm talking about these other ones. Ni, 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 so, 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 so. We are here, mm. we are building, Mr. Oti. You mm, understand? Mm, mm, mm. And I'm still confident with Pesita, who has a place in this team. I'm still confident with Chapelo Morena, has a place in this team. I'm still confident to Uti. Uh, Yaya's Tolle has a place in this team. What I would love to see, Mr. Uti, is some less um, less adventurous fullbacks. Okay. If we can identify some, because let's be honest, I, yeah, I can hear people are saying Mvala this, Mvala that. But you know Mvala, Mr. Uti. We know Mvala. He, he's just that guy. We can't say, ah, no, nah, actually, Mvala should be playing right back so that mistakes are even the corner kick or even the place kick. He'd be great there because he has the speed and everything. Yeah, I understand that, Mr. Woods. If we can get stable uh, fullbacks who are about defending, mm -hmm. then I think corner last line corner. And mm -hmm. maybe Umdiva should, should, should start competing where he should be competing. You yeah, understand? If you can mm -hmm. find. Uh, a left-footed center back somewhere, Mr. Oti in the country, who can actually do the job like a full back. Sbege and Mr. Oti coach him. You see the center backs, they are always stretched. Even against Nigeria, Ukekana had to ashape last dish taking. They are always stretched because our full backs don't care yeah. about defense. By a pambi, why are why? Mm. Would mm. see sometimes Bola is so fit, little fit, Bola Sampanal goalkeeper, they're already running. Sampan six, they're already ahead of the strikers, even. Mm. So we must mm. find fullbacks who want to play as fullbacks. Mm. Not uh, our and our players that we love must start competing with other attackers because it's clear. Mr. And Umutawiena, what I love about him is that he is able to be conservative. Mm. And of late, he's been conservative. I take as much. So maybe that was my best to case it right. But La Paga left, Mr. Oti. I may have worried. I may have worried. Guys, can we try get to be 15,000? Guys, tap the screen. Guys, uh, protocol must be observed. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, Ntatem Tetwa is on the call. Uh, I'm going to jump to him uh, 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 right now. Ntatem Tetwa, welcome to the show. How are you?
Hey, you can just unmute that. Let me just click the button and see if I can help. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Like I didn't touch. I'm good. How are you, Tati? I but great. I want to jump you into this conversation. Uh, you said something in the comments where you said uh, you were on commentary and you saw uh, uh, some things good and some things bad. But I want to focus on something where gay men are if petsy illiterate. And it was yes. it was a messy game, uh, if we're being honest, defensively from both sides at times during the game. Uh, what does it say about us as South Africans? Or a that was messy, but it was three three. But Bafana Bafana hype or quote unquote, and they win their one nil. What does that say about South Africa? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think uh, mainly we should talk about what went wrong and what went right and why would we be happy and why wouldn't we be uh, not be happy mm -hmm. and i think uh, if we can look at the inconsistencies uh game Maubani, particularly in the middle and defense that's where the problem started mm -hmm. and i think the turnovers Taruna, we, we never converted our turnovers we had yeah. almost eight Ten of us in one game, mm. and only managed to score with one, mm. and that's the first thing. Secondly, um, your normal football that we play was exceptional. That's what made South Africans happy, mm. despite the result of mm. uh, three three. But one, the fighting spirit, mm. uh, the passion, uh, the determination to represent the flag, and to say to themselves that we are not going to lose in Algeria for the first time. And that meant that the players that were playing yesterday were more determined to save the flag than anything else. Mm. But the inconsistencies at the back, the goalkeeper and his back four, were very inconsistent yesterday. Somebody mentioned that our uh, fullbacks, when they go up, they don't come back. Mm. That is true. It has always been happening, even during AFCON, it was the same problem. Mm. Yesterday, Mudiba had a blind of a game, but the problem was just coming back to fulfill that space. And that created a, 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 a void between the two centre backs because it means one centre back had to come where Mudiba is supposed to be. Mm. Yes. Mm. And the same thing applied with Mobia on the right. It means the number five had to cover there, which is a uh, uh, cool in this case, he had to cover there and Kekan had to cover the other side, Yamudiva. So it always left a space for Algeria to be able to come through and, and be able to attack us with ease. If you look at all the goals that they scored, besides the, the acrobatic goal, they all came from the middle. All came from the middle. Why? Because of that space that I'm talking about. Mm. And then if you go back again, uh, I want to mention something very quickly. Uh, Victor Osman said on Canal Plus that the most difficult team that he played against during the AFCON was South Africa because of their tenacity, one, two, because of their aggression, three, because of their belief in what they can do with the, with the football. Mm -hmm. And he also mentioned that South Africa né, came to the tournament without any big stars playing in Europe. Only Sitole was playing in Europe. Mm -hmm. And at that time, no one thought South Africa would play this good and reach the semi-finals. I don't care if they won with penalties from last 16 to last 8. I don't care. That's football. That's why we have, pen that's why we have penalties in football. Uh, many Brazil won the World Cup with penalties in, 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 20, in, in 1994. Somewhere along the way, they won penalties. Germany won the World Cup in 1990 via a penalty. So it's not like it's a miracle. In 1986, the same, same thing happened. Uh, Brazil lost in the semi finals uh, when Socrates missed a penalty at Atseka Stadium. So that shows you that football is part of, 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 of uh, that penalties are part of football. And we cannot divorce ourselves from all the possibilities and probabilities that happen in a football match. Now, coming back to yesterday's game, I feel that um, Bafana Bafana know what they should do. The only thing is how to do it. Mm. They know what they should do, but how to do it, it's still a problem. Mm. One, let's start with attack. 
we don't have a special attacker that we have. Yeah. When we had Mahupa, Mahupa was a very strategic player for Bafana Bafana because all players were feeding off him because of, because of his size and because of his strength mm. and how he read the game, which was good during AFCON. But yesterday it became very clear that we don't have somebody like Mahupa. So she, she had to carry Bafana Bafana with his experience, his, 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 his skill, and also his um, Chebelopi, uh, his, his vision of the mm. game. Mm. And he realized that the group holds somewhere in that back line, yeah, 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 Algeria, okay. between Mandani and, 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 and Azim. He knew that there could be a space there. And he used the space twice coming from the right, because the first ball, it was a pass from him that went to Mayambela and back to him. Mm. The second one was the same routine to the right, went to to Mushishi to the right, came in, cut back to his left, shot with his left, and went over the goalkeeper into the net. That's a sign of a player who's got vision, who can realize quickly what is happening around him and what's happening with his teammates. But the middle field yesterday, Itaba Munare nearly gave the game away completely yesterday. Itaba Munare was, was out of sorts. The same applies to Musile. He was out of sorts when he came in. But Apollis, she could have been the star with that stunner that he hit the crossbar with. The crossbar. But the problem is one, he needs to work on his passing. Mm. He must work on his passing. His passing is it's, it's dismal. Mm. He can play the ball, win the ball, but to play the second ball, that's his problem. He, he gave away, I think, four or five passes that we have given to a, 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 a player wearing the same shorts and, and socks, but he gave it away to someone wearing white, white, and white socks and white shorts. So for me, those are small things that they need to look after. But still on that, Mukwe, all the time, all the time, he'll give you his 110%. And even yesterday, the same thing happened. He was grinding. He was everywhere. He took control of the game. You could, you could swear that he was the captain of the team. Yes, he was the captain on field. But mm. the goalkeeper instead disappointed us with his antics. This playing the ball from the back, I agree with somebody earlier who said, we need to have a solid back four can play the ball up. Mm. Sometimes you don't need always to play the ball from the back because with us, what happened at Afcon, what happened against Andorra, what happened yesterday, it's the playing back thing. All the time want to do the same thing. Teams end up reading how you play. They know how you play. And remember, Algeria is a very quick team. They knew we we're going to do that. That's why they nearly embarrassed us yesterday. Mm. And then there's the, the, the middle field. Uh, they, we need, we still need our, our normal middle field of uh, uh, Sitole and, 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 and Mukwe. And, and so that we, they can release Tembazwani to play as a free man, to, to attack uh, all the time and, and create spaces for others so that all the turnovers can be used to effect effectivity for us to create and convert goals. We so don't have a natural born striker currently. Lepasa is off form. Uh, Mahupa, he was not there yesterday, but going forward, remember on the 6th of June, we play Nigeria yeah. in the uh, World Cup qualifiers. It's going to be difficult away in Nigeria. So the question is, how are we going to manage that one if we don't have natural goal scorers? So between now and June, we need to find someone who will be on form and score goals. Uh, this young man who came in and scored the third goal yesterday uh, from Skukun, he's, he's, he's a marvel to watch, Mukwana. He's a marvel, he's talented. Let's use his speed, let's use his talent and see if maybe that can, can bear fruit for us in, in later in the, in, 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 in the qualifiers for the World Cup 2026. By the way, I still believe we are going to America, uh, uh, Canada and Mexico uh, come two years time. So then, Tatum uh, before, before I, I, I bring in the other guys, is, is that not then a point where we speak to uh, uh, Bruce because a lot of the quest, uh, questions that were asked yesterday and some of the things that we've seen are weaknesses, for example, are Ooh. things that we've seen before. Like uh, we've seen uh, the, the, the issue yeah, 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 uh, Mudiba on the left-hand side and how that left-hand side becomes weak where attacking we look great, but then in defense we become a bit weak. Those are some of the questions we've asked in the FCON. Uh, when we look up front, in as much as Mahupa was so great and, and, and strategic, uh, I don't think we we have thought of a way of how to uh, score. We don't have a, a, a plan of how to score. And uh, I, I think Zwane might have papered over some of those cracks. 
uh, is there any point where we speak to Bruce about this and say, hey, Mara, uh, uh, Look, Bruce, uh, that's his job to find a striker in the country. That's not a fan's job. It's mm -hmm. Bruce's job to find a good striker. But the question is, you look at the moment, who do we have? Mayo looked lost yesterday. Even in the previous game, he looked very lost. Mm. Okay, and he's scoring goals in the in the premiership. Yeah. But when it comes to Mafana Mafana, he's not converting them. Like I said, Le Passa is off form at the moment. Then you still have other players at, 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 like uh, uh, Salane maybe could come in. Uh, Kyle Chief still have, uh, uh, what's his name? Dupri. The one from Stellenbosch. Uh, Dupri. Dupri is still there. Mm. And then you also get other teams as well. Uh, if maybe we can find someone that can be. But can you convert somebody to become a national team player? this late before the qualifiers i'm not sure mm -hmm. so bruce and his typical team they need to sit down and say who do we plan our game around in terms of striking are we always going to score from from the middle i don't think that's a good idea you find a, a clever team that can lock all the doors from the middle from supplying to the front then that means you can never ever have somebody who score for you so that's where the point of somebody who said we need to have people can score from set pieces like your, your defenders your tall defenders and what have you yesterday we were very lucky that uh, algeria could not score with the tall number nine Baghdad, uh, uh, Benajat. Mm. if that guy can be in a good position to hit the ball he can score with his head. He has scored against us before in 2015 at AFCON. And he could have done it again yesterday, but fortunately, uh, we had a measure of him yesterday. And they even substituted him to show that he was not uh, the best player on the day. But uh, Ibrahimi, the number 11, was on top of us from minute one until he was substituted. So we need to have someone like that as well who can take the game by the scuff of the neck and say, we are taking on this game. But he must have people who must convert for him. Um, when he takes the, 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 the game like that. Like Zwani did yesterday, but unfortunately yesterday Zwani saw the reports and scored himself. But mm. if Zwani is not on song on the day, who's going to score for us? Yeah. So to answer your question, Bruce must look for a striker in the PSL or outside the country, somewhere, somebody, but must not change the structure of the team, of how this, this team has been playing since at the qualifiers of the World Cup, Af AFCON, playing the AFCON and now in all these frenzies that we're going to play before we, we, we complete the qualifiers. We need to change, we should not change how we play. We play better football, good football, with poise, with finesse, with swagger and determination. And also, we have that thing that, yes, we can do this. Okay, okay, no. Uh, I'm going to come back, please, please stay on, guys. Can we please get to 15,000? We just had the legend on uh, uh, speaking to us here. Uh, Prastomi, I want to come to you, Prastomi. Uh, back to that original question that, uh, what does it say about South Africans that, uh, you know, we played a 3-3 draw versus Algeria, which was messy, we had our issues in defense, we had our issues up front, we had all of this stuff, and the 3-3, we are all happy, we're all excited, but my daddy came a as we say, and they win their one nil as Bachableli. What does that say about uh, 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 us as South Africans? And how much do we have to look to Bruce in order to plug some of these holes, man, that, that have been there consistently for a while? Uh, yes, OT, uh, at times, uh, when you play a draw, <laughs> Oh, sorry, 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 Prasto. Me, sorry, my TikTok is telling me that I've been inactive. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. You can carry on, Prasto. Me, sorry. Did you, did you get, get OT? When you played good, it team may come with a draw. Uh, at some stage, we have to see we compliment in the intercity. Mm -hmm. And we go on your mind, it my son, in the bar, we are overrating in the bar. We only celebrating the draws. But mm. okay, Indians are right now. What we are celebrating in the Indians is one of the long eye. Because at some stage, you must say, but in South Africa, it's not even the long eye. We have corn. It also means we end up playing the draws. See, 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 Now, if Sifumene came, I possibly was a scorer corn. Hey, Lonnie says, I'm grateful. This is his fans. 
and again i will not do it kind of the real thing if as we find because if as i'm sure the final day also the final day hey ot Here, you can continue. I'm still here. Trust on me. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, I'm still here. Don't worry, I'm still here. Oh, did you get a band doing gay? It always sounds like we we were celebrating draws, but gay Tina, it's not like we're celebrating it draws straight. We're celebrating it because. It's been while we have been able with the interest. Cylindy came to 11 episodes, we have been able to do one, we have been able to do one, we have been able So at mm -hmm. times, if fans, they will criticize when there's a problem. And if fans, they will compliment the team when the team is playing good. Because mm -hmm. in that game we're playing, we we're, we're, were at Zeri, uh, it does not mean we're celebrating it draw, but it also we were, were questioning in the level of the central compared to it defense to it's our business problem man so mm. uh, I, I it does not really say Tina we were celebrating it draw well any colors now this is because we identify that are negative in the team mm. and next this is for now is a long sec in the team and there's nothing wrong if it's got sense alone because uh, now at some stage Duncan Ben I end up hey, when you play a draw against Brazil yo, so Lala Pans I'm good with you I've been make, I've been make a nice um partial name. But when mm. you look at the game, we pass about name hit the crossbar eight times. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as was in those so as the corners if as and if as our source it is best justified the injuries if not over mm. over they always cry for something else. Uh, Indians are in football general and it's not about India, Tele South Africa, around mm -hmm. the world. And mm -hmm. gang with, with those things there's a sense that Sikwas is cooler more in football because you learn each and every game. Yeah. If a game is different compared to any game or it, it says there's something going on with the game. And when you identify a problem, it has a good steal. Sikwas is a good problem that's there. So, mm. as a problem, sometimes, since the worst is if we, we cried for Utemba yeah. a lot of times. Yeah. But uh, Hugo Bruce was straight out to say, Utemba Zwana is old and he wants to build a young team. Everyone believed that in South mm. Africa. And mm. they they were even saying, you know, yo, Utemba Zwana was given a time. Azanga was a Benzel time. So mm. U U Hugo Bruce is right. We able. So mm. at, at, at some stage, not we as fans, we can be right and the coach can be wrong. Mm. We able. Mm. Because she has more problems that you have in the team. It does not necessarily say if niggas born on coach, got a Nazis if as you say Bugari ball with the mm. understanding by the farm of Jalok and Jan. So mm. oh, I'm not he says about the skeptical and do what Dean this is like if as this is if as is not but now I come with the understanding if as at times the corner is less born on a game and you mean is born in an Indian and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh... Let me go to agent. Agent, we've had this conversation about, uh, you know, especially with your team, Rulani is playing a more African game. It's, it's a one nil controlled game. People are not necessarily celebrating it as much as they uh, as they used to. What does it say about us South Africans that uh, this game that we played was a 3-3? It was flowing. It was back and forth. There was defensive mistakes, forward mistakes. Hey, it was. It had a, a lot happening. Whereas when we win and it's 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 boring, it's controlled, uh, you know, we, we don't make as much noise. What does that say about us as South Africans? Uh, and and is it a good or bad thing? Um, I think we have had this conversation in a in a slightly different manner where mm. we said what is entertainment football mm. and what isn't. Mm. You know? Mm. Because let me get this out of the way for argument's sake that 
I think you remember when Algeria was leading one nil, and I said we'll win this game because yeah. I could see that we are playing well. I could see the patterns. I could see the formations. I could see everything. That okay, the boys are clicking. The boys are in the mood. You know. Mm, mm, mm. But you look at it and say it was chaotic. Mm. <laughs> it tactically it was it was a nightmare. Um, um, tactical discipline was way off. You know, like I said, and it's not. I'm not. Picking up, like I said, I'm picking on both of them, Umonar and Omukwena. You cannot have an overlapping Umudiba and not cover him because mm. you end up exposing Okekana and Utul. Mm. You know, because mm. with the way we play, the the full back and the wing and the winger they don't ex- exchange necessarily. They don't interchange. They mm. both push forward. So one of the whole the midfielders has to slot into that position or slot into the center half position and the center half moves out wide. Mm. Right? But that wasn't happening, right? And then you have an OA police who in as much as we're treating him, he was everywhere, okay, fine show, he was everywhere. But then when you have an OA police and Ozwani as two threats who are kind of playing a, a free role it's a problem within a team because yeah. there's always going to be two players who are at, at times in the same position leaving another position exposed mm. you know mm. so and you look at Omukwena the reason Omukwena was so tired like he was super tired except intensity was that he was covering both the space of Ozwani and covering the space of uh, trying to cover the space um, of Umobi and Ukekan, like he was in all the places, and at the same time, he's trying to push forward. Mm. That was a problem, you know. Mm. Williams, you, you, you know that Ukekan and Tulu are not one of our best playing uh, center backs, yeah. but yet you still insist on inviting pressure and giving it to them. Mm. Why are you doing that as the captain? Why are you doing that as the leader? Mm. You know, you're exposing mm. our fullbacks, you know, I mean, our center backs, mm. and then. I would always be in favor for a, a, um, a, a Umudiba who invites, you know, because we have a Umudiba who's not going to necessarily add up in terms of uh, numerical advantage for going forward, or Umudiba yeah. when he's playing doesn't go that forward also mm. as much as Umudiba, you know. So we can't have a flat four. We need mm. numbers in, 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 um, in, in both the center midfield and attacking mm. areas. You know, okay, so yeah. hence I always prefer to have an Umudiba who tucks in and trace that medical advantage in the mid in the defense uh, in the midfield. Mm. But the question is, how do you react tactically? You know, mm. hence I'm saying, in as much as it was enjoyable, the eye test, the eye test says it was enjoyable. But you look at it, I'm like, I man, you know. Mm. Uh, Bam Tato mentioned the goals that uh, I don't know if it was Bam Tato or Butikus, one of them mentioned the goals that. Algeria considered similar, mm. and you look at them, but this guys are supposed to be a uh, technically superior, you know. Mm, mm, mm. But then you can forgive them because it's a new coach, but still, they were making kind of I would say schoolboy errors, you know, because mm. we were getting them up front. You know, when a team is pushed, uh, is, um, is on your face, you go along, you know, yeah. don't have to play short, you know, mm. because we push them up, we won the ball, and we score. Mm. One, once is a mistake, okay, fine, given, like the Williams one. It's a given, but the second time, third time, you have to go along, you know. So mm. it's a it's an interesting thing that you look at it and say, but three three doesn't reflect well on the defensive side of things, you know, and midfielders. But we enjoy it because they goals, you know. We, we mm. watch football to watch goals. That's what is mm. enjoyable. But you look at the tactics of it. I'm not sure if it was a good game, you know. But mm. on the eye test, it was a good game. Yeah. Do you question Bruce at any point and say that I don't think the Mudiba thing is is, is new? We know that playing him in a back four, uh, we saw it at AFCON actually where he was exposed a couple of times. Uh, we know that there's a problem between linking the defense and the midfield and the forwards. So when you get up front, there's a bit of an issue there about how exactly we're going to go score. Uh, is there a point where we ask Bruce that uh, when are we going to find solutions for these things? Or should we? I think um, Ubrus had found a solution, right? Mm. In as much as I didn't slightly agree with it, but he had found a solution. If you look at our games, 
um was it past mali I'm, I'm, I'm failing to recall you know mm, mm, mm. we're being less exposed on that side you mm. know because he had specific instructions for oh yeah, yeah, but oh, yeah it's yeah. not in there mm. you know like mm. i said i didn't agree with the way he was doing it because it was kind of counter-effective to what you're supposed to do because he was asking Yaya to directly drop to that side, you know? Mm. But I think he had found a solution. Like I said, you can't have two wing backs, uh, full backs who are not attacking. You can't have that. One of them has to attack. We just have mm. to find a solution. You know, hence I'm saying maybe he has to give a Oman Hare, but again, as players, professional players, you see that you know Umudiba, everyone knows Umudiba, you know, a, a, going, a boy going to school knows Umudiba's problems, you know. So as a player, professional player, who I'm sure you analyzed sundowns, mm. you say, but Umudiba is pushed forward. What mm. am I supposed to do as a responsible professional football player? You know, mm. some of these things don't have, to, don't have to come from the coach, mm. you know, and as much as the coach maybe has to give specific instructions, but as a professional player, you need to know what to do tactically, mm. you know, um, tactical position, you know. Mm. And lastly, where the last time we had a, profi- a, a prolific striker was Kilampela, you know. Sundowns mm. the dominion team is playing with uh, Ashalulile, who can play for Wafana. Who else is there, you know. Mm. So I think, I don't know, I don't know if it's a, a problem that Bruce has to solve or it's something that Safa, PSL, and the teams have to solve. You know, do you maybe have to increase a band? I don't know how, how that works, but mm. we have to find a solution because we can't have the last striker, prolific one, was Umpela, you know? And before Umpela, who was prolific, maybe Mark, you know? Mm-hmm. You see, we always have that jump of mm. five, ten years without a consistent 20 goal scoring, uh, I mean, Bainey before, before Mark, and then, yeah. You know, so there's always that gap that you need to close. You know, so mm-hmm. how do we close it? I don't think it's initial team can close that can can close that mm-hmm. gap. It's to, up to Safa and PSL and the teams mm-hmm. to solve the problem. Uh, let me go to Sinje. Sinje, uh, sometimes it feels like we're fans of football over being fans of the national team. That when the national team is doing well, but they're not playing the type of football that we want to see, we're not necessarily behind them. And then they come in and they play 3 3. That's very exciting, but there's a lot of things that you could question. Uh, we get very happy. Uh, what do you think about the, this man, this thing with South African fans? Look, um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm one of those fans. Um, I'm one of them. I think um, I, I get frustrated if I'm going to watch a a a compressed game that uh, lacks movement that um it, it's just waiting and calculating um not exploring not experimenting um i mean uh, 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 for me it, it it just becomes boring yeah we win one nil it's fine but i'm not even interested in watching the the highlights mm. you know uh, I'm not even interested of watching the read line, the, 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 the replay. Uh, um, in fact, I'm cooking while I'm, while the game is playing because nothing is interesting happening, let alone go and watch it at the stadium. I mean, mm-hmm. you put petrol, you put money in, you pay ticket, you go take a date to just to sit there and watch, uh, uh, uh calculative, uh, uh football. Um, see, that is a game that I would watch. That's a game that I would go to, you know. Um, I, 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 another person that I don't think we are giving credit that I think he was highly influential in that game being 3-3 is Rowan Williams. Mm. Uh, in particular in the dying stages of this game, he made, he made a one-on-one uh, a saves. And for a goalkeeper to do that, for me, I, 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 I give props to him to... You know, as I, I, I take it as a goal. It's like a goal. When a keeper makes that save, it's like a player that has got goal. And how many of those games, saves did Rowan make? In particular, yeah. towards the end of the of, of, of that of that game. It mm-hmm. could have been four, it could have been five three, it could have been four three uh, to Algeria. He he came out to the part to the to to you know, to the party and and I think he raised he's a senior player. That's why he's a senior player at Bafana Bafana. Um 
I'm also I'm also thinking that if if you got I mean there are players man that I think could play as a six. I don't have a problem if your wing backs go up, but you have to have a six that is that first of all is comfortable with both feet and can mark with both feet so that he can slot in on the right and he can slot in on the left. He can assist on the left and he can assist on the right. So you need a utility player. And I mm-hmm. think we do have those in South Africa um, mm-hmm. that are playing in the midfield. And and, and I think Blom, Blom is doing quite well in the MLS. I mean, when oh, he was injured, you could see you could see that he, uh, even Bradley Carnell said it himself, when he was injured, the, the, two games he didn't play, you could see that mm-hmm. they are missing that number six that is able to, to to slot in on the left and is able to slot in on the right. Yeah. And I think whatever is going on between him and his management and Bafana Bafana and Yuko Post, I think it's time that they sit down and sort that out because I believe mm-hmm. that he's a player that is needed in this Bafana Bafana, in particular and to sort out we, this uh, issue. But then aren't we recreating the wheel for no reason? I mean, we know how Mudiba plays at club level. Uh, we know what Sundowns does to hide him. We know where he plays comfortably. We, we've seen these things before. Are we not man, reinventing yeah. too much? Shouldn't these questions be things that we have answered by now? Uh, look, I think, I think they, if you look at the Bafana Bafana midfield, if you look at them, which, uh, which pivot uh, can you say is comfortable with the ball on both feet? We don't have that type of a, a holding midfielder. We don't have that type of a defensive midfielder that you know that if the attack, if both the wing backs of your opposition and the wing forward, if both left and right wing backs and and your right wing, your left wing forward are attacking, who is going to assist our 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 left back? or our yeah. right back in that case yeah. uh, from the number sixes that we have and yeah. also on the on the, on the right hand side who's that number six can, that can run from both ends uh, of the two sides of the field i don't mm. think we have that type of a six in in, in that part of the part mm-hmm. and i think that's what is that is why we are being exposed uh, when Aubrey goes goes up, is that we don't have a six that can quickly slot in as a as a as a three or slot in as a four or slot in as a five or slot in as a two. Mm. Let, let, let me bring in uh, Kumo. Kumo, uh, I'm in Kumo. Wait, Ritabesi 3 3 Mara. Hi, Iwina. Bafana, Bafana. Hi, Kradi Bronze Medal. Cuts on the penalty. Deal. Nobody was happy. Everybody was complaining. Yay, hey, this Bafana team does this, does that, does that. Now they've gone to a 3 3 that was uh, technically very messy. Uh, who are happy? Can can you tell me what does that say about us as South African fans? I, you know what people, bruh. Tactics. Um, they always reserve the critics for Sundowns, aka Bafana. Only Sundowns is supposed to play tactically correct, no mistakes, whatever. Then they're gonna come and praise the mediocre way to Davi and say it's the best thing we've ever seen. You understand? All I'm saying is, ne, if you forget all of that, like, like you need to forget one thing about football, and especially South Africans. We love flair, we love flavor. Um, fla- um, f- yeah, fl- t- um, kasi flavor. We want to be entertained. I mean, like that game had almost everything. Um, we came from a group, from, from like we came from behind to lead and also draw, right? Mm. When last did Bafana score three goals in mm. open play? Mm. When last did you see such quality goals, ne? Mm. And we could have actually scored five or six as well. And also with the jail in terms of our mistakes, aka Ron win. But also in the same breath, he saved us. But when um Limva, like, like he really had an open net, he could have scored. So now yesterday I was entertained. Yes, um, it wasn't we didn't win, but the way the passion was there, the excitement. It was a long time since we actually had something like that. Mm. But hello, mm. So I'm not gonna come here and be a hypocrite. Honestly, like if you wanna see a game that is um tactically as good, um everyone is nice, go watch the Euros. Come on, let's Sweden and Germany and get bored. I <laughs> guess everyone is gonna give you those long passes that you want. Naga more you wanna see some magic. You want to be in this game. That is why I've got a beautiful game. 
I have no complaints. I'm happy for what I saw. And we'll see, just stop bringing Bob Long. But then Buzung, if you proper number sixes, he can play defense. Now, Rivaldo could say, we've got proper people, mm. not your natural rejects. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I want to come to you and, and, and speak about going forward. Uh, like you said, in June, we're going to be in Nigeria. Um, how do you feel about our chances versus Nigeria uh, with the squad that we have? Uh, and then will they... Will, they're not going to give us this type of game. Are we confident that we, we can take them on and beat them? And also, how do you feel about uh, Uhugo Bruce and that and that? Well, uh, let me answer the last question first. Uh, Hugo mm. Bruce must stay. That's the first thing. Mm, mm. Um, consistency and continuity is very important in, in, in football as it is in life. Mm. If you are not consistent, um, you would have all those things that come chip in and make you not to be sure or whether you're going forward or you're going backwards. Mm. So Hugo Bruce, like he confirmed, is not going anywhere. So let him stay there. Uh, remember, we're not building anymore now. Mm. We, mm. Yeah, we are going forward towards bigger things. One, the first step was we managed to get a podium place at the AFCON. We didn't win AFCON. When we were least expected to be on a podium, we managed to get a podium place. That's the first thing. Very good. Mm. It doesn't matter how we got it. Mm. It doesn't matter how we got it, but we got it. Some of the big names in African football didn't even reach the last 16. Your four-time champions, Ghana. Your seven-time champions, Egypt. You know, all of the, your, your Cameroon. Your, they never even came close to seeing the day of, of the quarterfinals or last 16. Yeah. But we managed to go through that with the less uh, uh, important players that Africa has. Because our players are, are taking that. They all played home uh, and, and they're not prolific, as they call it. Our players played with heart more than anything else. Mm. And consistently so, the same team continues to do that. Hence the result yesterday. Um, if you look at the team that started from Algeria yesterday, uh, out of the 11 that started, only two play uh, at home for Constantine uh, AC. Only two of them. The rest play in Europe and also in 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 in, 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 Saudi in the, in the Gulf state, which mm -hmm. is uh, Saudi, uh, Qatar, and and, and and United Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. Those all those players, né? all of them, they play with big teams and big names uh, abroad. But we brought our own, again, 11 players based where? In the PSL, okay? Mm. And we went down against Algeria. I thought for a moment, as I was commentating, are the floodgates open now? But I still had that thing. I remember when I said, I believe, we believe, we still believe, we continue to believe. And guess what? We managed to equalize. So mm. that means that this team has believed in themselves. One, mm, mm. they can fight back despite our deficiencies that we have in terms of, if you look at experience, we don't have the best experience in terms of caps uh, uh, recorded for the team. Mm. If you count the caps of the team that played against Mafana yesterday, uh, we don't have a player, only maybe two or one player is over 50 caps. Mm, mm. And then with Algeria, we had the goalkeeper who's over 30 already is going towards 50. You, you had the, 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 the captain, he's at 68. You had Bunaja, he's at 69. You had um, um, uh, number 18, number 27, he's at 49. Okay? Mm -hmm. So oh, oh, ju just to round it off, plus minus over, over 300 caps in one team. And we don't have that. If you look at Mugwana, how many? Four caps. Mm. Two goals. Okay, fine. Mm. Give it. Then you look at uh, uh, Mayambe. You look at Mayo. All of them. The only people with more caps now it's uh, Mukwena, it's uh, Zwane, it's, uh, it's 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 the goalkeeper uh, Williams, and that tells you our team is still very young. Though maybe by age number, um, we we we're not that young, but when it comes to caps, we are very young, and we fought against a team that has played. Some of the players in that team have played in four Afcons, mm. and some of the players that we had there played in none Afcons. Mm. Some of them played in the World Cup qualifiers, and we had players who played none World Cup qualifiers, even including the one that we are playing in now. Only some of them played against uh, uh, Benin and against Rwanda. So mm -hmm. the question is, what do we do with what we have at our disposal? Mm. 
So Hugo Bruce has got to work out a strategy whereby when we meet Nigeria in June, are we going to say to Nigeria, we are afraid of you because you've got all the European based players besides their goalkeeper based in South Africa, who is on the move, by the way. I heard somewhere that he's on the move coming to Chobek. I just heard that. But <laughs> the question is, with the, don't laugh, to serious. What if what if we beat Nigeria again at home? We've beaten Nigeria again uh, at home mm. in the qualifiers. We beat them 2-0. Remember Ranti scored there in, in, in Nigeria, in Abuja? We can do that again. They mm. they thought we had a weaker team even at that time. This time around in the Afcon, they beat us 1-0. But guess what happened? We should have be, could have beaten them as well. Now we go into their backyard in, 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 in Nigeria. In, in, I don't know where they're playing as yet. But anything can still happen. If we bring that strong belief that we have and we, we still pro produce a, 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 a performance like the one that we produced during AFCON against the same Nigeria, against uh, Cabo Verde, against Namibia, and against the DRC, against anybody that we play against for that matter, even including against Morocco, which was the favorite of the tournament, and because they're top ranked country in, in Africa and top ranked country on the FIFA rankings, mm. including what we played, how we played against um, 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 Algeria yesterday. Why can't we beat Nigeria at home? We have sent all the signals. It's how we plan and we plan around them. They should be worried about us. We shouldn't be worried about them. They are playing at home. We are visitors. Mm. So we should take the game to them because they will be sitting on their laurels thinking that, yes, it's that week we're fun of fun again. But now we always bring a surprise, which is what we did during the AFCON. It mm. doesn't matter how many goals we scored in terms of penalties or not, non-penalties. I'm, I'm, I'm totally not for whether we scored penalties or not. Mm. Football has got penalties so that if you cannot convert during regulation, you need to win by penalties. If, I, if you can't score, in a direct that means someone must foul you or there must be a handball and then there must be a penalty given to you so it's part of football we have to learn to understand that yes entertainment is what we want because it's the nature and and culture of our football to entertain but sometimes i feel that you'll entertain and then lose the game what's the point of entertaining and losing the game we're not talking that we're scrambling for 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 for, for, for small things here now no we're looking for bigger things now yeah. we, if you can get Number three at Afcon. That means we are looking at qualifying for the World Cup and not go to the World Cup and become uh, uh, passengers at, 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 at Copacabana. No, 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 no. We want to go to Mexico and and and, and Canada and USA and play good football and and come with at least a, a good result. Maybe go to the last sixteen for that matter if everything goes according to plan. But against Nigeria, we can we have everything that they have. Look, we had them van one. People that pe people don't even respect Mbala for that matter. And Osimhen, do you know Osimhen didn't score against us? No, mm, mm, he didn't. Mm. They had their best players. I mean, uh, he he was, he was there. He couldn't score. They had uh, Simon, all of them, but managed only one goal against a weak team, a so-called weak team, Yamafana Bafan. Mm. Only determination, only the passion that we have, tenacity and the aggression that we showed against the Nigeria would make us beat Nigeria at home, or at least Come back home with a draw. Mm -mm -mm. Tato, I want to ask you one more thing. Yeah. Hugo Bruce, uh, how, how so well about to uh, and interacting with people in football? Uh, are people starting to come around to 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 uh, Hugo Bruce, or will it be a situation that once he leaves, that's when we're going to uh, remember or give him his his props? I think every every coach when he arrives, ne, uh, there'll be skeptics. Mm -hmm. There'll there'll be those who believe in him. Look at his record. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um he has only lost once against North Africans. That's an example. Mm -hmm. Only once. Mm -hmm. All right. And that was against Morocco mm -hmm. for Bafana Bafana during the Afcon qualifiers. Besides that, when he was coaching Cameroon, he never lost against a North African team. He won two and played two draws for, uh, when I had yesterday's game. Good enough. Now, this man, uh, he, he, he won the Champions League in Belgium with Anderlecht in the, 18, in, the, in the 70s or 80s. He was a good player. He knows football. He understands football. He's got a serious qualification in football. That's why he won Afcon Cameroon. When he won the Afcon Cameroon, he didn't have the best players that Cameroon could produce. No, he didn't in 2017. He had some of the, I would say, mediocre Cameroon players. 
mm. and one or two best players of mm. Cameroon, but not the best of the best of Cameroon, but still managed to win uh, the championship. Now, to answer your question on that one, many fans were skeptical about Hugo Bruce because some didn't know who Hugo Bruce was. Mm. Hugo Bruce came here, he didn't know the players. From, he took from what he was told and he had to start from zero, zero ground to learn and understand and know the players, their behavior, uh, their, their behavioral patterns, uh, their football culture, uh, football, football uh, behavior, and, and all and all and, and all. And slowly he had to build the team. Remember, he went over 15 games and beat him. With the same team that we were talking so bad about. Yeah. The only last first loss was Morocco in the qualifiers. Mm. And then since then he never lost until he lost to uh, Rwanda in, in Rwanda uh, during the, the qualifiers in that bad ground. Mm. So the question is again, does Hugo Bruce understand our football? I think now he's got the grip of it. Mm. He understands how we play football. And fortunately, with all the lot from Sundowns, it makes his job so easy that he can have six, seven players from Sundowns. Mm. He knows that he doesn't have to coach them much, but mm. he can have a plan around them. Mm. And then have other players from other teams. You still have Bogi Gose Shongwani, who's bringing goals that are coming out of fashion in, in America. Don't forget about him. Yeah. He can be our answer to our problems. Because during the FIFA break, he's allowed to travel from the MLS USA to come here. You know, mm. the same as in Jabulo Blom. Though mm. people say you should not recycle. I don't know if that would be fair on, on the boy, but if maybe there are issues, we don't want to bring any new problems into the team. The team is consistently, consistently growing uh, together as a team and growing together as a performing team and yeah. getting the results that are, are desired by the nation. So Hugo Bruce must stay. And secondly, this team, uh, all the fans are now starting to realize that this man is capable and I'm one of them. I saw on my Twitter account as well, uh, that many people yesterday and this morning have been saying Hugo Bruce must stay. If you lose this, this man is going to have problems starting all over again. How do you get a new coach just before the, 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 the World Cup qualifiers? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Someone can argue and say, Algeria's got a new coach. Mm. They got rid of the old coach during AFCON. Yes, mm. but Japan. they did bad. We didn't do, we didn't do bad. We did, we did well. Past uh, the same Algeria that we played draw against. For rank 45th in the world and us rank 58. We played better than them yesterday. Yes, mm -hmm. on counter, they were better than us, but because they, they managed to score from all those counter counters that they had against us. Mm -hmm. But the question is, does Hugo Bruce understand that going to Nigeria is going to be a different ball game? He must mm -hmm. plan differently. He must sit down with the technical people, send scouts overseas and look at these players. We know who's Nigeria going to pick. They're not mm -hmm. going to pick a different team. They're going to pick the same team that we've been picking for the past six years. The mm -hmm. difference is only two, three players. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let me go to Agent. Agent, uh, how, do you, how do you feel about Bruce? Number one, and then number two, looking forward to Nigeria. Uh, are you confident going into the Nigeria game after these friendlies that we've played now? Uh, where do you stand on this? Oh, and guys, before you go, um, can we get to 15,000, guys? The show is about to end. Can we get to 15,000 likes and, and, and more gifts? Thank you to the people who've been gifting. Ah, Agent. <laughs> No, you, you know my stance on Bruce it has always been the same from the beginning, you know, and it won't change by it won't be changed by people like CJ, you know, it won't be changed by people like CJ, not in the small at least, you know. But on a serious note, Jesus tend to what tend to wine, eh? Uh, rose the dead, you know, made the blind to see, but the hearts of um, the Jewish were hardened, you know. Mm -hmm. So you always have hardened people like Sinjay, you know. So those we can't, um, <laughs> uh, we can hear them, eh? but we shouldn't pay attention to them, you know. Um, <laughs> but I think even you, you know, Edwin, Hugo Bruce is not mine. He won't be loved by everyone, you know. Mm. So mm. I think he knows that and mm. he has to accept that, you know. Mm. Those who like him or like him, those who don't like him don't like him. And it's absolutely mm. fine, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think for me, like I said, 
from a selfish point of view, I would have preferred if if he he retired or resigned after this, because I don't know how. Far. This was the perfect opportunity to talk for him to go um, with his head held high without being fired without anything. But from a patriotic point of view, I'm glad that he continued. Um, so yeah, I think he has to continue, you know. And to the Nigerian game, I think it would be an interesting one because I think we let like speed against Nigerian. Those guys were super slow, hey? We were super slow. I think if you can be this quick against Nigeria, ah, no. Will definitely eat something, you know, mm. and hopefully, um, I'm not sure. Hopefully, a bandaged umvala will be back, and uh, umuda will be back, and we are will be back, you know, and that was also there, and everybody like that. So, I think, yeah, we stand a very good chance to beat Nigeria. So, yeah, okay, okay, hey, we stand a very good chance. I can say, but uh, let's go to uh, CJ, CJ, how should we feel about Bruce as the public? Number one, and then how are your feelings about this Nigeria game? Uh, you know what? I don't like Bruce one bit. I don't like him. I don't like uh, his football. I don't like his philosophy. I don't like his utterances. I don't like. Uh, I think we just we just just give him Isai Sasaka Dewiji pension. But anyway. <laughs> but this one thing, there's one thing that I do like. <laughs> there's one thing that I do like. Uh, you start something, you must finish it. Mm. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a strong believer that he started something. Um, let him stick around until he sees that he's done. Mm. Um, I don't. Uh, let's go to Nigeria. I'm, I'm not confident as, as. As uh, Jesus' disciple here <laughs> below me, uh, I'm not confident um, in 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 a result, in a positive result. I think at best we are going to come back with a draw. That's because that's what we do best. Uh, yeah. So so yeah. I mean, listen. Let's let Hugo Boss support us and uh, and uh, our agent. Uh, uh, I have never heard him. He says that he's a supporter. I've never heard him saying that he's going to watch Mafana Mafana game. I have never. Have you ever heard agent saying he's going to watch Mafana Mafana game? He, he, he hardly goes to Santa's game. <laughs> and he knows that. That team needs uh, as much of his support there, all 57 of them. But he hardly goes. I don't know why. Since he's a strong believer. But anyway, it's fine. Why I had to go to Santos game. Okay. Aye, correct, correct. I'm why? always there, but now. Why, why does this have to be personal, guys? Okay? Why is it more personal? Um, okay, so, look, I'm looking at the time. Um, I don't think I'll be able to put anybody in right now. Uh, uh, Agent, can you give me your closing statements for tonight? Hey, man. Agent, are you still with me? I yeah, I think my closing statement is, is very simple that, you know, let's give support to the guys. You know, it was very interesting to see um, Nelson Mandela, study Nelson Mandela um, being full, you know, hopefully the next game, even if it's qualifiers, hi, they shouldn't go to FNB money. Even if they come to Loftus, will come some of us, eh? Even if they go to Dobsonville, uh, not Dobsonville, but I mean, what is this Deben Stadium, Moose Mabita, you know, I, they shouldn't go to FNB because I was seeing they don't want to support our team, you know. Um, so I think also the SAFA should do a better PR team uh, management. They should do better activations for the game so that the stadium can be full, you know. The same way people do activations for uh, useless games, you know, we should do the same for our country. So I think uh, they have to do better on that side. And I hope wherever it will be hosted, even if it's free money, even if it doesn't have to cost an army to make money, it's free. Mm. So, that guys, so that people, so that boys can play in front of a uh, peg stadium. So yeah, mm. I, I think that, that's, that's, that's my final statement, that we need to support the boys. Okay, okay. Uh, Sinjay, closing statement. Did I hear Agent saying, even if it's free, 
Hey, it's like those tendencies. Yeah, they want to get into the stadium. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. OT, how much is a, is a PSL ticket? You guys are the worst. You guys are the worst. Hey, Mara. How much is a PSL ticket? Isn't it? Uh, Roughly, how much are they? 40 to 60, isn't it? Chiefs is playing uh, Chipper United at Absa Stadium on the 6th of April. The ticket is 100 rand. That's because Chiefs, it's Chiefs. Not 60 rand. <laughs> Not 40 <laughs> rand. <laughs> Not Mahala. <laughs> Not Mahala. It's 100 rand. That's the cheapest ticket. So uh, now we are being asked to support my father, my father for free. Yeah, uh, uh, this thing is pathetic. Sundowns and its tendencies. We must accept sundowns oh, for my just G for the field. <laughs> Guys, uh, let's, I, I, I want to agree with Aiden for once. Uh, I think uh, this team deserves uh, our 100% um, uh, support uh, all over the place. I think let's give it the same energy we gave uh, uh, 2010 Feel It Is Here, uh, the same energy that we've been giving uh, rugby, the same energy that I think Banyana Banyana and Bafana Bafana are now raising up their hands, putting a Boshem. Banga bandwa na balapekaya, even though Bafika na about 30%, 40% uh, we need to support them wholeheartedly and uh, they must feel our support as well. Yeah, so, but again, it's okay. Even if they bring bronze medals, other people, but it's fine, let's support them. I agree, let's support them. I'm going to buy that Bafana Bafana white t-shirt and that Banyana Banyana black one, just mm. to show that I am in support. Uh, of 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 uh, banyana banyana and bafana bafana and uh, these Sundowns fans must stop coming here with tendencies of going to the stadium mahal. I spoil breads. Look, this is what I'm going to say. Um, I think that whether you like it or not, whether you believe in him, whether you don't believe in him. Whether you like the team or you you agree with the players who have been chosen, I think at this point in time, Bafana Bafana is a team that deserves to be supported. I think Bafana Bafana coming back on the bronze medal uh, from the AFCON, Bafana Bafana coming in and playing these games, Bafana Bafana actually having a very good record under Hugo Bruce is something that should be celebrated and something that for a very long time we have not had a reason to have these conversations. Guys, I've done this show. For, uh, for quite a bit. I've done the show for maybe a year and a half, almost two years. And uh, there's been very few occasions where we've spoken about Bafana Bafana or had conversations before that, uh, before this show and all of that, where we were earnestly having conversations. In fact, a lot of people didn't even know when Bafana Bafana was playing. But here comes a team that does what at FCON. Here comes a team that has been representing us very well over the past few years. And still, we fight and we claw and we do all of these things, right? Yes, there can be questions. Yes, we can criticize. Yes, you can ask about the tactics. Yes, you can ask about certain things. But at the end of the day, let's support. Let's not have our criticisms be uh, uh, just negative for the sake of it. Or maybe let's try and build it. Guys, Hugo Bruce has done the job. Hugo Bruce has done the job. And I think one of my worries is that we're letting our, you know, our, our want for beautiful football, beautiful football here to tell us anyway. Now Mumunti is playing something. And whether we enjoy it and whether we love, they're winning. We've got a winning side. So let's get behind them, guys. Let's get behind them. Uh, let's support them. They've represented as well as we've done, as well as the Banyana Banyana. Guys, Banyana Banyana are reigning uh, AFCON champions. They went to the World Cup that side and they did very well. Yet, for some reason, we still, we still don't support them. I think it's time for us to put aside our little differences. It's time for us to put aside our sundowns biases and unbiases, sundowns this, uh, the players that are being chosen, let's put that aside and, and, and support the side. Um, what we saw versus Algeria, just to touch on the game, what we saw versus Algeria was a, a, a messy game. It was a messy game. And I think we enjoyed it more for the game than for our performance. 
I think defensively we still have a, part of, a couple of issues. So uh, Mudiba uh, is, has always been spoken of as an inverting left back. At Mamadou Dissan Downs, he plays almost all the way on the left wing in a back five so that he can go inside to the, uh, to the field and become an extra midfielder. That's how Sundowns cheat when they play Umudiba. So seeing him in a back four is shaky because nah, you can you watch him, watch him. At some point, he, he, you see he gets bored and he's like, I, I need to go forward and form part of this attack. It's part of his DNA. It's part of how he plays, right? So Uyugo Bruce has to come up with ways to shield that. Or maybe you do the thing that Urulani said, move him into midfield. Sundowns cheats by having midfielders in defense, midfielders in midfield, so that they can play this progressive game that we love seeing, right? But they're not doing it with pure defenders. Why then are we asking for that with, our, uh, with, with the players that we're getting from them? Then we go to the front. You cannot fault the commitment of the players from yesterday, but I think Bafana Bafana still struggles with having a way to score, a move to score. If you watched Algeria um, yesterday, there were patterns to how they were playing to try to get their players almost in one-on-one -on -one situations where Utrepa wrong, Umuntu and Zane, but you can tell, okay, but move us. So then they move there, then they put the ball here, then this is how they're going to score. I'd love to see that with Bafana Bafana, especially with the dynamic players that we have right now. We've now all seen that Mahupa doesn't necessarily have to be our striker, right? He doesn't have to be the guy. And, and, and for his limitations and what he brings to the game, we can bring something different. So it was very weird to me to see Reina dropping back. And as much as he's adapting to the team, we know what his strengths are. Why not create situations where Reina can, can get the ball in comfortable situations that he's used to, right? Um, with him on the pitch. We know Apolis is fast. We know Reina is good on transition. Maybe create more of those opportunities. We saw how good Temba Zwane was in transition versus Namibia uh, when we're playing a counter, a truly counter-attacking direct game. Maybe experiment with those type of things because for me, we lack that. And maybe it's not just a Bafana Bafana idea. It's also a South African idea where our strikers don't know what to do most of the time. And I don't think they're being... Uh, given plans. Good, okay, we see that you're talented. We see that uh, you've got a bit of you've got a bit of scoring. What what? Mara, Can we go one, two, three, four? This is our predictable thing, so that Natia's players or those players know how to get into position, where to go. I think uh, we still struggle with South Africa, where we are. Uh, relying so much on natural talent. We are, allowing, we, are, we, we are relying so much on Temba Zwane popping up and putting it into the top corner. We are allowing, we, we're relying so much on those type of things that we forget that, guys, my sense and I'm a move. My sense and I'm a tactics. It's almost like my go final third, I'm a tactics IPL. It's like we stop uh, thinking about how to go and score. And I think that is a very important thing that needs to be discussed at a, at a national level. At a national level. I think that's why. But um, guys, I'm going to close it. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, for those that have not followed, please follow. We got to 17,400 likes. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you to Kumo, uh, uh, Tolani, Malibongwe, um, Malume Kuto, Busisiwe, Tumisho, Tumiso, and Mr. XO4, thank you for the gifts there. Thank you to those who are watching uh, on, on YouTube. Thank you to those who jumped in to join us. Uh, we were blessed to be joined by Uba Bam Tetra, a, a legend in our game. This is what the platform is going to. This is what the platform is becoming. And it's all because of you guys, guys. Monday to Thursday, 7 p.m., I am here. Fridays, half past 12, is my members' show. The members is where we have a lot more discussions offline on WhatsApp, where we speak in more depth. I have learned so many things from those people, and I'm sure that I can learn a lot from you guys as well. So if you want to join the WhatsApp group, go on over to YouTube, click on subscribe, click on join, and you'll gain access to the WhatsApp group where we go 24 seven and we teach each other more than anything. And if you think these conversations we're having now are incredible, just yeah, you, you haven't seen anything. And if you do want to watch any of the previous conversations back, they are available in full on YouTube. You can watch, we've had some, bangers of shows discussing things to a deeper level so uh guys please also support 
we, I, I'm a content creator. I do content. I have videos. I have TikToks. I have all those things. Please, if you can support me on that side too, that would be amazing. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for giving me your time uh, every day. Uh, it really does mean the world to me uh, that this, you guys take this platform as seriously as I do. Guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 7 p.m. Bye, guys.